Charlie, welcome back. I'm glad you're it's back. Great. Make another oh. video. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> we, see, this is why we're taking the, we're taking the friendship test today. Let me let me let me tell you. Let me let me bring you guys up to speed. So me and Charlie here, we've made a couple of videos, and there's there's been a couple of different people. There's people who are just like going up to the rooftops, like yes, they made a video together. This is the greatest day of my whole life. I'm writing fan fiction. Yes. And then there's some people like. Why are these guys making videos together? They're nothing alike. They don't even get along. Are they really friends? Their chemistry is awful. And I was mm. like, wow, I didn't feel that at all. So maybe we need to get to know each other a little more and take a friendship test. That sounds great to me. I think our chemistry is right in sync, especially the way we started this, like immediately <laughs> fighting over each other. I think we're like right in the same wheelhouse. Well, you can blame me for that because I just talk a lot and didn't really give you much room, so I'm, uh, I apologize. Oh no, you don't need to apologize. I'm so sorry. Look, see, what you guys don't know out there is that me and Charlie really don't know each other at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, shoot, you should have heard us like before we started making this video. We're like, hey, what's going on? Hey, man. And it's kind of like, we just sat yeah, here and just small talk a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, friendship test. We got the Ken and Charlie ooh quiz and a couple of others pulled up so first question here if ken and charlie ooh, meets a genie what would his or her first wish be i mean i you'd choose a billion dollars i mean you'd be dumb not to choose a billion dollars <laughs> right exactly <laughs> who wouldn't choose a billion dollars beautiful wife hampson husband i mean i already got a beautiful wife king of the world with a billion dollars you are king of the world yeah you're pretty much king of the world would you pick a billion dollars for yourself oh absolutely of these three choices here it's the only one that makes any sense see look at that we are so much in common. We're best friends already. I'm replacing Felix right now. You're BFF forever. Well, I mean, the buddy him. meter says so. I mean, we have to be now. <laughs> All right. What is the second question? Does Ken and Charlie ooh, want his or her, her wife husband to be the hottest or the smartest? Oh, okay. What do you th What do you think I would choose here, Ken? Uh, so, I mean, obviously your girlfriend's going to be the smartest and the hottest. Just True. like my wife yeah. is the smartest and the hottest. Easy question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Smartest, hottest. Moving on. Okay. What does Ken and Charlie Uwe drink the most? Well, I think you drink water the most. Yeah. I, I don't drink any of these very often. Maybe green tea sometimes, but that's about it. Yeah, you don't go get you'll get hammered with the boys on the weekends or anything. No, no beeries. Not anymore. I don't get drunk anymore. Not anymore. Oh, yeah. My party days are over. I'm getting up there in age, and it's time I grow up and drink green tea. And well, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> just green, just green tea. Let's see. We need to add Coke Zero because that's pretty much all I drink. Well, I got a coffee right now. Did you ever drink any coffee at all? No, I hate coffee. That shit tastes terrible. It does. I can't stand it. <laughs> it's so. Pretty much everything on this list kind of tastes bad, in my opinion. Like tea and beers, IPAs, all the all the neck beers. Are like, yes, oh yeah, my IPA. Oh, it's all the hops. Oh, don't even bring up the hops. Jesus oh. Christ, yeah, that is yucky. Do you remember Kutra from like the, the creatures back in the day, like Uber Hacks or Nova, yeah. all those guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, was it Pax? And he was like, dude, this is the best beer ever. It's like this this Indian something IPA, blah blah blah, and you like. Got me to get one. <laughs> I bet it was terrible. I bet it was oh. absolutely horrible. <laughs> I, was, I, got, I sipped it and I was like, oh yeah, man. <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> Thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> I, just, I just want to crush his dreams right there and tell him that he has terrible taste or just no taste. No taste buds yeah. at all because it was, it was the worst thing on the planet. And then the hops. Like hops is, it's the bittering agent, right? So it just makes it taste bad like anyway. the ish it's the ish agent it's literally yeah. just like the the poop chemical it's just yucky <laughs> next question which fast food restaurant does ken and charlie uwu prefer the most on this list do you like any on this list do you eat fast food i mean you're drinking water no. all the time so i assume you're like trying to be a little healthy yeah i don't really eat fast food often these are some odd choices. None of them I'm a huge fan of. I guess like out of the four Taco Bells, probably the best. <laughs> this is like a, I don't know, a list from like the 90s. Like, do they still have yeah. Pizza Hut's around? Well, I can't imagine why. I don't know who's still <laughs> eating Pizza Hut. <laughs> after the after the game, you know, after the coach pitch baseball game, you got to go down to Pizza Hut and get those cool red cups. Oh, yeah. true. Yeah, I guess. McDonald's has all the promotions like the Travis Scott burger and the Saweetie meal, BTS uh, nuggets. Travis Scott. Who, who is the drummer for Blink-182? 
Who was that guy? Uh, Steve Barker? Some Tro- Troy Barker, maybe? Travis Barker. Travis Barker. Okay, so whenever I saw all the news on Twitter about like people dying, I thought it was this guy. Oh, you thought he was the one just going out there killing people? I was like, Jesus Christ, he's, he's just playing the drums. What is he doing? Giving him, like, rhythmic heart attacks from his beats, I guess. Yeah, he found, like, the legendary brown note, and he's just making everyone, like, <laughs> dish themselves and die. Oh, that whole thing was nuts, that whole concert. Yeah. What was it, like, the crowd crush or whatever that made everybody... Mm-hmm. I should start doing videos on, uh, on news. How's that working for you? It's uh, a lot of it's real sad, real <laughs> sad. <laughs> so, so I was like, I was like, oh, I haven't ever did it like really because I try to keep it at least a little wholesome. And it's like all the the current news is like eight people died. Yeah, you know, and it's heavy. So about these fast food places, <laughs> you like any of these? Well, you know, I guess segue into death. You know, I like some McDonald's. They, they oh, okay. Put me in early grave. That's good. Do you uh, are you a fan of the McRib? Oh, that's that is a vile piece of filth. Are Thank you a McRib you. guy? Thank you. Okay. No, the only thing the only thing decent about the McRib is like the sauce that they barely put on it. Yeah. And it's, other than that, it's like a pink paste in a press sandwich that you're. Uh, it's like a soupy meat thing that's like melted onto the buns. Yeah, people swear by it. It's like the McRib's back, and even like. Like I keep up with stocks and stuff. The stock, <laughs> McDonald's stock even goes up when the McRib is available. Like it's really? the, the holy grail of sandwiches, but it's, it's trash. And if you're in the comments defending your trash sandwich right now, you're trash. All right? Agreed. Agreed. Go about a, the pizza. I mean, we've got to ask the question, pineapple <clears throat> on pizza, yay or, yay or nay? I don't mind it. I, I can take or leave it. It's not like my favorite choice, but if it's there, I'll still eat it. Like it's still fine. Right, right, right. See, I agree with that. I mean, I always hate on pineapple on pizza for the meme, right? I'm like, oh, mm. gross. But we ordered some pizzas for the kids, and they had pineapples on them. And of course, they didn't eat all their pizza. And being dad, you know, I'm like, hoo, hoo, hoo. There's some <laughs> leftover pizza here. I'm gonna definitely eat this pineapple. Hmm. But then I ate it, and I was like. I can see why people like this. I'm not going to order it, but I understand it. Yeah. My, my wife's dad puts anchovies on his pizza and like all those little fish. Ooh. Tried that too. It just tastes salty. It's like really salty. Anyway, Subway. Do you ever get the, uh, what's your go-to for Subway? The chicken teriyaki sub was Ooh. the one I used to always get. Yeah. God. They had like the sweet onion teriyaki yeah, yeah. sauce they put on it exactly yeah oh, i used to tear that up god this is like back in the day too this is before yeah this was the same for me that was back in high school when i was yeah. still playing basketball <laughs> i was gonna say like that was like early 2008 or something it would be that because they had the sauce and i was like oh this is the best and they were, it was new and they were posting ads about it and i'd, I'd tear that up and then I, then i grew up and i went to the yeah. meatball sub you know <laughs> Oh, okay. You graduated. Okay. Yeah, I, graduated. I just left Subway. <laughs> he just what? got out. Well, they even got those little chicken. Or no, it wasn't the chicken breast. What was it the tuna that they tested it to see if there was any tuna in it? And there wasn't. There was just no tuna in the, the tuna. Oh, yeah. They they did that across the entire restaurant. They found that like when you order a chicken product, it's like 90% like soy paste <laughs> yeah. and 10% like poultry or something. Yeah. The, the chicken is the same thing as the, the McRib. They're just like squirting it into a press and make yeah. it look like it oh, okay anyway moving on where would ken and charlie Ooh, we would like to go with ken and charlie's soulmate where would we like to go with our okay you got the you're, you're you're a billionaire you got your hottest girl ever where do you take her um i've never been dating these places so i don't even know i haven't been anywhere here either but i, I haven't heard any <laughs> anything good about like any of them except venice and paris well i hear that paris is very overrated so i guess venice it's like, I don't, I don't know, uh, the Bahamas. I'm afraid of flying, so I don't travel at all. Are you really? Yeah, I don't, I don't fly, so I can't really <clears throat> go too many places. We do have that in common. I, I, mean, I, I, ha- I have to fly. It's Australia being freaking on the other side of the world and all that. And every single yeah. time I have to, they, they have these little pills that you take for like motion sickness. And I get drugged up before I get on the plane. And so I'm just like sitting there in my in my tube, my death tube in the air, you know, trying to not imagine that just probably 15 feet below me, there's just nothing but air and then the ocean or the ground or whatever. And if anything happens at all, I'm dead. Yep. That's exactly how I think about it too. A hundred percent. I can't even sit by the window. Like I have to sit in the middle and I have to envision, I have to, I have to imagine that I'm just riding a bus 
and I'm just going down the road. And that's like the only way. That's I a can good strategy. It. The old lady in front of you is like leaning back all on your face. The kid behind you is kicking your seat. The turbulence is making you have yeah, a heart the attack. The turbulence is absolutely awful. I also can't sleep on planes either. Like, you know, the, I don't know, that, that falling feeling you get like when you're sitting in class and all of a sudden you jump and everyone laughs at you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone's looking at me like I'm having a heart attack. And I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I, I I don't think I've ever even tried sleeping on a plane. I'm usually just like alert the whole time, just just in case. <laughs> I wanted just, to bring a parachute. Like I, I looked up if you could bring a parachute oh. as a passenger, but you can't. Why not? That would be <laughs> be great. Like your carry on is just your parachute, just in case. Yeah, I'd feel so much more comfortable if I could do that. But then I was reading like at a commercial airline speed. If you tried to use the parachute, if you somehow made it to the door, you would just instantly die anyway. <laughs> so it wasn't exactly like super comforting. Right. I don't know if you would be able to get the door open. Exactly. Yeah, that was one of the big ones. Like as soon as the plane like reaches enough speed to like lift off the ground, even then if anything goes wrong, your chances of dying are pretty pretty high because you're just going so fast already. Yeah. So, so every time I sit, I'm sitting in my chair and I've got my headphones on and I'm got all this motion sickness medicine in me you lean back and you're like all right well if anything goes wrong i'm dead I'm out of my control now out of my control <laughs> i wonder what death's like and they start like having all these oh you, it gets deep it does it gets very <laughs> sad very quickly <laughs> like on the plane you're like shedding a tear because you're thinking about how your family's gonna miss you and all this stuff but, i mean <sighs> flying is, is traumatic it is i completely agree I feel like we bonded really well on that question. All right. I think so. All right. Which animal does Ken and Charlie ooh, ooh, dream to pet? When you when you cuddle up at night and hug your pillow, what do you dream about petting? Dogs. I mean, I, I, I have two dogs already. Yeah. Absolutely dogs all day. Yeah. I'm so I'm allergic to cats, so screw cats. Mm-hmm. Uh, rabbits let out this, like, feral screech whenever anything's wrong, and it's horrifying. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Wait, hang on. Let's see. Oh, God. Aww. Horrible. This video is sad. The rabbit's very stressed out. Aw. Oh, I'm going to show the kids. <laughs> show the kids. Look at this rabbit. <laughs> Feral oh, screech. Sad. Horrible creatures. Mm. <laughs> it was sad. It was a lot cuter than the one I remember. With whom would Ken and Charlie Ooh like to spend quality what? time with? Travis Scott's on this list. <laughs> I, I'd like to spend some quality time with Travis Scott. How topical. You know... Oh, Elon Musk. I've, I've never heard anyone say his name like out loud uh, the first time I read it. And I was like, who's Ellen? Ellen Musk? That's really? Weird, that's a weird way to spell that. Yeah. And I think oh, it was wow. in a video too. And people were like, what did you just call him? I was like, Ellen. A alone? <laughs> oh, Elon. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Elon Musk is like a household name now. <sighs> the Rock. Get a motivational speech and look at his muscles. That'd be pretty hot. The Rock is pretty cool, to be fair, but he's no Travis Scott. <laughs> Did you know, and I just learned this, Travis oh. Scott grew up wealthy, and he used his wealth to pay for a producer and IT guy to bot his listens and followers on SoundCloud to appear more popular to record companies. That's how he got his start, apparently. Wow. Yeah. And well, the sad part about this whole thing is I didn't know who Travis Scott was until the tragedy started. Yeah, now I only I really knew about him from Fortnite and the Travis Scott Burger and Sicko Mode. Those are yeah. like the only things I really knew him for. And so now, you know how it works with, with people that get famous and they're popular or they're rich or whatever. In a month, he's going to release a new album and it's going to be like number one seller because now everyone yep. knows his name. What type of movies does Ken and Charlie Ooh like? What kind of movies you like? I like any movies. The movies... Out of this list, the ones that I find myself never really liking are comedies. They're, like, always the same movie every single time now. Yeah, I haven't like, seen, like, anything interesting from a comedy in a long time. It's, like, make you cringe or sit there like, oh, God. What was the yeah, movie it, uh, that had all the, the YouTubers in it or whatever, the Ryan Reynolds one? Oh, comedy? Free Guy. Free Guy. I haven't watched it yet. Was that any good? That was okay. I, I, I liked it. I had fun with it. I wouldn't necessarily say it's just, like, a straight-up comedy movie though it's definitely like a light-hearted family comedy action kind of movie i think the reason i haven't watched that movie yet is because people that i know are in it and for some reason that makes me go Ugh, i want to watch that oh true <laughs> yeah there's some streamer moments <laughs> like, in there because yeah. even though 
I am a career YouTuber. I also think streaming in YouTube is like a big joke. I don't know why. Like, I still have that in the back of my head that like we're not doing anything special. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a hater, I guess, but I still <laughs> still do it. And maybe, maybe that's why I'm maybe that's why I'm so depressed all the time. I'm so down on myself. I need to get over it. Huh. Well, I'm glad we've had this uh, <laughs> intervention. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, no, but no, it's like I'm like, oh god. We're not actors. Don't put don't don't put them in movies. No no nobody no YouTuber maybe other than like an actor that became a YouTuber can actually act. They're all horrible. Yeah, it's pretty minimal their involvement in it, and it's goofy. But yeah, I hate all, right. all YouTubers except for the ones that I invite to be in videos, like Charlie here. He's pretty he's pretty decent guy. And you know? I am a good actor. I held the Hunger Games together, of course. <laughs> well, see you. Were, <laughs> well, no, you you started YouTube like freaking forty years ago. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you when you started, like... 11. 11? I was going to say 13. Wait, could you even... Terms of service, you're about to get shut down. <laughs> it's like, don't you have to be 13 to even, like, put videos up? But Back in that day, you could make it at any age. You didn't <laughs> have to lie or anything. Oh, my God. It was a totally different landscape back 16 years ago. There was a, there was a video you did. And it was this flash game where you're like dressed up at these as these like I don't know Victorian age fancy ladies, and you had to slap each other. Oh, the, yeah, the slapping game. I remember that. Yeah, and whenever I see you do like a newer video that's about people getting slapped, I always think back to that. And <laughs> like that's where it all started. That yeah. that goddamn game <laughs> planted the seed, I guess. Yeah, that was a cool game. Well, it was. And those of you that aren't aware, Charlie pretty much puts out like. 18 videos a week <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and pretty much anything that I do, he's already done it like ages ago. So if you want to go see something before I do it, just go watch his channel. <laughs> I've got my finger on the pulse of any kind of internet it's, it's nonsense. Always, you always have that feeling like, you're like, oh, cool. I found this cool thing. And then if anybody else has done it, or I always feel like, oh, yeah, well, maybe I shouldn't do it because they Yeah, already- no, there's no reason not to. It's not like I own watching stupid dish. Yeah, it's not like you're a drama channel that's going to be like, Cinnamon Toast Ken's ripping me off. And then I'll be like, well, screw I, you, Charles White. You suck. Let's not get carried away. If I get desperate enough, I might try and start some shit with you. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> well, I think that would help me out the most. I need some Twitter drama, you know. <laughs> oh, true, some beef. Yeah, I need some beef. Like, heck yeah. Penguin Zero, Moist Critical, whichever name you want to pick. Beefs with... Old man Cinnamon Toast Kid, who's like the most <laughs> neutral YouTuber of all time. Uh, I remember back when your channel first started to like really pop off, and then you started to do a lot with Felix. I came over to your channel, and you were doing the um, was it was it like the PETA game, or was it that Flash game where you're saving kids? What the fuck was it? It was um, was it the, was it that uh, Cooking Mama game where you like chopping yeah, that, up the? That, that's the PETA one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. How long ago was that? Now, like nine years. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's got to be cool. at least at least eight eight or nine years. That was yeah. pretty soon after I got rolling. Why did why did you start doing YouTube? It was just like kind of a hobby thing for you, like for fun as a kid, right? Yeah, as a kid, I used to just like steal other people's videos and post them on YouTube because YouTube was super new then. Yeah, so I used to take videos from a softcore porn site and re-upload them over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's how I got my start when I was a kid. <laughs> Wow. That was back nice. when you could uh, advertise your channel on other people's channels with a uh, channel comments. Oh, so you used yeah. to like always advertise like I got the best shit over here and my <laughs> name was Football Playa or something like that. I was going to say it couldn't have been the same channel. That one had to get shut uh, down, right? No, 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 that was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, did you play football? At that time, no, but I played when I got to high school a little bit. Just from the outside looking in, I don't know how it actually is for you, but it seems like you're still just kind of doing the same thing that you've always done and just kind of enjoyed it and uh, making videos. Yep, and, that's what it's always been about for me, just having fun. Yeah, and it's, I don't feel like you've changed that much over the years, but YouTube has changed to where it prefers content like yours, and so now you're just popping off and it's nuts. <laughs> and I'm so proud. Oh, so thanks, proud. man. Yeah, things have been wild on YouTube over the last few years with everything going on. Because <clears throat> I remember looking like and being like, oh, go to like stat sheep or whatever and like just go look up other YouTubers and be like, how's their channel doing? How's mine doing? How's it? And I was like, aha! I'm beating him. Got him. <laughs> Who cares if he voiced in Lucia, <laughs> Lucius or whatever? Ha ha! Hey, hey, that's a classic <laughs> reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and now, now I go and like look down. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. 
I need to ask him if he wants to do a video. Holy crap, I got that clout. <laughs> It's it's cool. I made that video talking about how like I've always I've always been a fan of like how you do it, and I'm jealous more than anything. I think I'm I'm jelly because I don't feel like I can do it like you do it. Like it just I feel like I have to be higher production and then like whatever I'm watching or reacting to. Like now it's just freaking you know night day fiance and crap, but it gets views. And the reason I started YouTube is completely different from yours. What like, was your reason for starting? I started YouTube, how old was I when I started? 24, 25? And I was, I was, it was like my sixth year of college because I just couldn't decide what I wanted to do. And I was like, oh, sucks, everything sucks. I just want to play video games. And I watched this dude called Lord Vega and he played a Silent Hill 2 playthrough. And I was like, this is awesome. I like playing games, and I like people watching me play games. I have a younger brother and sister, and they always watch me play games, and I enjoyed it. Like, I should do this. I was going to college for accounting. I don't want to. I don't want to finish. I don't want to go count other people's money. Screw that. I don't want to. My my job sucks. I worked at like Lowe's and GameStop at the time. I I started YouTube because I wanted a job that I enjoyed, or I thought I would enjoy. Right. Mm -hmm. So I did it for money, basically. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. It was a, no. a career choice that you really wanted to make. Less about money and more about being happy doing what yeah. you want. This isn't a therapy session. We're just getting to know each other, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the buddy meter brings us closer, getting Look, into deep-rooted problems. These are the conversations that YouTubers have off-camera anyway, so you just you get, a, you get a sneak peek, people watching. All right, moving on. Uh, oh, yeah, what do I like out of this? I like, uh, I guess I like action movies. In Ken and Charlie's free time, where would Ken and Charlie ooh, go? Would we go to the gym, sleep, shopping, or the library? Well, I, I don't want to speak for you, but I think I can safely say we wouldn't be going to the library. <laughs> <laughs> nope, the internet exists. We don't need that. Would you go to the gym? Is that where, you, where I'd find you? Yeah, probably the gym, I'd get, say. That's probably where pumped. we'd go. Yeah, get a big pump in, I'd say. Pray at the Iron Temple. Well, I saw either it was a thumbnail or a picture or something. Was it you or was it Felix? Someone, someone was, it was you. You were like flexing your bicep and that sucker was massive. Oh, I got some nutty biceps, but I think Felix has the overall better physique. Yeah, but I'm Felix about, has I'm that about, like. Talk about size, man. You had that, that rock, you know, you're like, boom, that boulder. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> mess with this guy. Choke me out. Yeah. Help <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd be sleeping. No, no, no. We'd go to. The, I'd wake you up and we'd go to the gym. Oh God, I, I need that in my life. <laughs> Since we moved, I've been in like quarantine and all this stuff for like six months, and I've barely moved, barely moved my body. So I was yeah. like, okay, let's get, let's start trying to maintain because I'm old and I'll fall apart if I don't move. So I did some push-ups. Oh, nice. Okay, you should be good for the year then. I, t I think. <laughs> I did ten push-ups. I was like, whoa, okay, that was kind of hard. Wow, well, I was. T <laughs> I guess do ten more. Jesus, I'm dying. Okay, I, I, you got to do at least three sets. <laughs> Let me get on my knees and pump this these last ten push-ups out. Like, oh, no. I've been you sore for like a week. <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. I've been oh, sore boy. for like a freaking week. Like, it's under my arms. It's not even my triceps or nothing. It's just whatever those little side muscles are. The little... Anyway, it's awful. It's I'm in the worst <laughs> shape of my life. There's plenty of time to turn it around. I don't know. I'm 36 years old. I'm, I'm, I pretty much got like two years left before I kick the bucket. <laughs> All right. Kid and Charlie, ooh, his favorite anime. You do watch anime, don't you? Oh, of course I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. From this list, there's some classics on here. Which one, what do, what do you like? Um, The only one I don't like on this list very much is uh, One Piece so far. I'm only 45 episodes in. It's fine. But it's yeah. not great. I feel you on that because I started watching it, and I've—I don't know—I I made myself watch like three every night, and I've gotten to like a hundred and something. And it doesn't get much better. It feels very childish, I guess. Like That's sweet. exactly how I feel about it. Like it feels very for kids right now. It's not really like deep. It's not really that emotional. The characters aren't really growing all that much. Uh, I guess it, people people swear by it, so maybe it gets better, or maybe my expectations are too high because Death Note is awesome. You know, lights over there reaching his chip bag, giving people heart attacks like a boss. Death Note was pretty but, fucking cool. After, I mean, it's been like twenty years. After, uh, yeah. <laughs> after L die, or yeah, after L dies, do you still watch it, or do you, do you stop right there? 
<laughs> I think it still ends nicely. I just don't think the two characters they bring in next are as good as L. I think that's the only problem. It kind of gets lost in its sauce a little bit. They bring in two characters, and you got Nier, like the white-haired kid, and then the other dude that nobody remembers. Like, he's so lame that nobody can remember yeah. the guy. <laughs> yeah, they didn't work as well as L did. Nier was okay, but the other character, I think his name was Mello. I also can't really oh, remember his name. He he was kind of lackluster. It was he was kind of fucking lame. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z. I mean, that was the old classic. Come home from school, throw on Toonami, and watch the same episode for three months. I used to love Dragon Ball Z. It hasn't aged very well because most we, we, of the we've grown up. Yeah, most of the episodes are them powering up without anything really happening. But I know they fixed that in Kai, which I haven't really watched. But I still think Dragon Ball Z, is a, it's a cherished anime of mine, even if it hasn't aged all that great. Yeah, so there's a lot of nostalgia with it. I yeah. always kind of had the the opinion that uh, you know, all the powering up and all the flexing and all the fighting, the reason that... Young, young men loved it so much as all of our teenage angst and we didn't know what to do with it and we're like yes I just want to yell and get swole and fight my dad when he tells me to do the dishes yes yeah <laughs> alright Jojo's Bizarre Adventure I, uh, I like parts one and two more than three and four yeah heck yeah best friends already you are making the hamon or whatever and then they yeah. bring out the stands and it just gets like weird and Pokemon. I'm like, you got ghosts popping out of their back, punching people in the face. You know, how'd this happen? Yeah, it's, I'm glad someone <laughs> agrees because like I, everyone gets mad when I say I like parts one and two more than three and four. Like I just didn't really like three and four that much. I like the end of parts three and four. Like I think the ending, the last like five or six episodes of both of those are really enjoyable. But mm. the entire journey to get there was so not interesting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Joe Taro, everyone's like, he's the he's the coolest Joe Star ever. But he's kind of just, you know, just stands there and goes, yeah, 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 yeah. point my <laughs> finger, you die. <laughs> so deep and interesting, you know. He's, but you got, like, Jonathan and Joseph, they're out there fighting freaking the Dio vampires and using Hamon. They're like Castlevania, Belmont's jumping around doing stuff. And then, uh, season two is so much better, too. Oh, my God, season two was so good. Part two, rather, was super good. So Brotherhood, it's like the, it's good. <laughs> I liked it. Did you like, did you enjoy it? I did. I think it's overhyped. It's the highest rated anime ever, yeah. I think. Yeah, I don't it think is. it deserves that title. Oh, you don't? Ah. No, I, put, I put it up pretty high right. up there on my list, but I also watched it pretty early on. So maybe it's got a, a, a bit of nostalgia for me too. I watched it in like 2019, 2018, something like that. It's a good show. Like I did really like it, but I don't know. I just feel like it has a really underwhelming ending like i feel like the, yeah. the show really peaks early on and then it just kind of teeters off like go to the door and it's like god or something and um, well it has kind of like the same ending as soul eater where it like ends with the friendship punch so edward's like throwing hands <laughs> yeah and then like he just kills him with like i've got my friends with me and then he like kills him with that like last little bit of Fuck, yeah. I remember it was like a punch Friendship plus a power, yeah. It's a good show, though. I did think it was good. What's your best anime ever? Code Geass. Dang! That, that anime made me cry like a little baby. That's a great one. That's like, one of the few anime that don't have a shitty conclusion. The like, conclusion to Code Geass is the best part of it. I, f I felt shitty, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, no! Lush, why? Not like this. It was so good. Oh. Like, most anime have bad endings. Like, they just have shitty endings. Code Geass has the best ending, not only of anime, but honestly one of, like, my favorite show's endings. Like, it's just, I, I love yeah. the way it concludes. That, that one made me feel feels. Like, after it was over, I just had to sit there, like, go, go, like, sit in the shower and just sit on the ground for a while and be like, dang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is, I mean, from this test, you know, we didn't actually click any of the answers, so. Uh, <laughs> well, we know each other better. I had another test here that was like, does my guy friend, are we friends or lovers? But we didn't make it to that. Uh, obviously, <laughs> lovers, you know. Yeah, what a cool quiz. <laughs> the ship sells itself. Anyway, that is the end of this. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell us what you think and all this cool stuff. Check out Charlie's Penguins. Do you say it Penguin Zero? That's how I always said it. I, I just say Penguin Z Zero. Penguin Penguin Z Zero. 
That makes it sound like a cool anime too. Penguin Z Zero. True, a little bit. Wow. Yeah. If you haven't already seen him, check him out. We've got like freaking tons of stuff. He's, in my opinion, if you don't understand, if you don't understand Gen Z humor, he can bridge you from your millennial old self down there because he's right in the middle. <laughs> Perfect. All right. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. So toast, my friends, and I love you. Bye, everyone.